Hey everyone, in this video we will continue to work on our refresh function. As you can see, the in inventory amount updates correctly and the other crafting items also update according to the items that were used and the item that was crafted. Let's start by going to the ingredients view. The first thing I want to do is refresh the in inventory after we crafted an item. So let's go to the on clicked event. And here after our newly created refresh UI uh, method, we can just simply get the AC inventory ref. And from this one, we want to get the amount. So search for get item amount from inventory, this one. And we plug in the crafting item name. And then we want to set the current inventory amount to the new inventory amount like this. And now we can test it. So press play, pick some items up and then press C and under the X we have three in inventory and I click on craft and as you can see, we have no four in our inventory. Next, we can start to work again on the refresh UI after crafting. For that, we go to the WB crafting menu and here under refresh UI after crafting, we have already the first refresh and now we need the second refresh. So let's add a new refresh here. So we have here the refresh selected item. And if it's not the selected item, we also want to refresh something. So copy and paste here the selected crafting item and break it. And then from the ingredients, we want to get the keys. And now from default, so when the item is not selected, we check all the items that uh, were used and we check if not selected items have the same ingredients and if they have we want to refresh the not selected items with the same ingredients to do this we get here from the keys d for each loop and then we align and we get a branch and what we also want to get is the current crafting slot like here the uh, crafting item and want to break to so paste it here and then let's get the ingredients and we want now to find the ingredients of the current slot we are currently looking at and they need to be uh, equal then we know okay this uh, item or crafting item has the same ingredients and needs to be checked again so after we checked this we can simply get here the same function to check if we can craft this current slot and if we can craft it we want to set the normal style and if not we want to set the local uh, locked style so we can again take this here paste it true and false like this and before i can test it we should add from the crafting item or from the current crafting slot the ingredients into the can craft with the current setup i cannot show you what this does so uh, for only for this um, i will change the crafting ingredients for one of the items so open the table and for the x let's add an ingredient which will be the sword so search for the sword the normal sword this one press one here and let's save this here i have a small setup prepared as you can see i have sword and axe and i have enough to craft both so make sure that here we have everything set up only the sword is missing so now when i go here to sword which is now the selected and the axe is not selected when i craft the axe gets the check and will be refreshed and now i can it because I have a new sword. So this is what this code here does. Go back to your crafting menu and now let's comment this. So this will be refresh not selected items with same ingredients. Like this and now let's move it a bit and let's continue with the next refresh. Okay we have now two refreshes and we need some more. Uh, for that we again need to change here the ingredients so let's change here the sword uh, let's remove one so here the sword is only uh, wood 
And for the axe, let's pick iron and the sword. I have here a new setup with a sword, which only requires wood. And we have an axe, which requires iron and sword. With the current setup, we only refresh the selected and not selected items with the same ingredients. So when the axe has not the same ingredients, we don't refresh. So here we have the wood and the axe has not the wood, but it requires the sword. We craft and as you can see, we craft and we craft and the axe has the sword and the iron, but the color did not update. So let's fix this. For this, we have created our sequence and we pick the current crafting slot again like this and we get from the ingredients again and the keys but this time not in the selected we just want to have a separate for each here so we go like this and here pretty simple we get the or we we resolve the soft reference then we get the class defaults and from the name we want to equal exactly and we can remove all the other pins and for the string we want to compare we pick the selected crafting item and here we resolve the crafting item so search for the resolve soft reference we get again the class defaults can copy and paste it and then connect the name and then let's hide the unconnected pins like this get the if branch like this loop through the body so here for every uh, slot we check if the crafted item uh, is in inside the ingredients and if it's we can just simply copy and paste this here so the crafting routine get this in and oh don't forget to copy also the ingredients over like this and again for readability let's comment this and this will be a refresh items which have the crafted item as ingredient And again, we have the same setup. We have the sword, the axe, and now when we craft, the axe gets refreshed. And the last thing we want to refresh is the ingredients view. So here, let's get the ingredients view and let's get the is valid note. So this is kind of a double check if it's currently available like this. For this to work, we need a new custom event. So go into the ingredients view and let's add a custom event and let's call this refresh ingredients amount. We do this because we don't want to refresh the whole UI. We just want to get the UI, the slots and update the amount. We go here to the ingredients view and from the ingredients view, we go to our crafting again to the folder and we go to the ingredient widgets. So here and inside the event graph, we want to have also a new event, which is called refresh inventory amount. Pretty simple. And what we do here is we want to get the inventory amount and we want to upgrade it. So just connect both and go back to the ingredients view. And here now let's get our BB ingredients container, get all the children's this, and then let's get the for each loop and connect the pins and here we want to cast to the crafting uh no sorry ingredient slots and you would be it would be better if we use uh, an interface but yeah this takes a lot of time so i will just skip it here but you can do it like we did in the past just add an interface to the ingredient slots and call it directly here uh, the method so from the ingredient slot where we cast it to, we get the uh, function 
refresh inventory amount, this one. And the inventory amount we want to have is from, um, from the AC inventory, get item amount from inventory, this function here. Let's yeah do it here before, like this. Plug in the amount. And here, get from the ingredient slot. So the current ingredient slot, we want to get the item data. And from the item data, we get the defaults. And here we connect the item name and we hide the unconnected pets. Back to our crafting menu. Here we can now search for this new function which is called refresh ingredients amount and yeah we refresh it for the ingredients like this compile save everything and then we can test it as you can see now when i click on the sword we have uh, six wood and now when i craft the amount it decreases correctly like we would expect it but yeah that's everything for uh, this tutorial i hope uh, that i got every refresh but if I missed one, you can just message me on Discord and we will add it in a future video. See you on the next one. Bye.